What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, The Fireman, and today we're back with another reaction. Today we are back with The House Next Door by Martin Animations. I got a friend, he, he, he hit me up. He was like, hey, yo, you got to check this video out. I heard it's supposed to be a little scary story, but yeah, let's get on into the story. All right. Growing up, I lived in a heavenly Ooh, all right, let's see what it's about. There's this now abandoned house that got was the little creepy ambiance. Home. The driveway connected to ours and broke off and circled around our garage and went deeper into the trees. It was a single story house with a nice big front porch mm -hmm. and had an outdoor overhead. Look legit, look legit. Garage. I don't know what he watering. We had an elderly neighbor who lived back there named Ain't Mr. Fisher. No water coming he was a Vietnam vet. He was partially blind. Oh, he crazy. Eye. Oh, he crazy. He normally <laughs> wore glasses or an eye patch on the rare occasions that we would see him outside. Yeah, he crazy. He kept to himself mostly. Uh huh. Never really had any visitors. It was about 20 years ago, back when I was in high school. I was home alone playing on my Nintendo. I remember that it was later the in the Nintendo. day. Nintendo. It was raining pretty hard. I was grounded for some reason that I can't remember. And I was bitterly sitting in my room, taking out Grounded. my teenage frustrations on the game. And that's when I heard screaming from behind the my teenage house. frustrations. I paused my game and I cracked bet you. the window and listened. And I bet you he gonna go outside to go look what's going on. Like even right here, he looking out the window. That's too much. You gonna look at the window. You gonna see something, then the man gonna look up. Damn. All right, let's get, let's get back into it. Every few moments, I would hear a faint screaming coming from Mr. Fisher's house, <sighs> maybe fifty or so yards away from my own. I people, boy, people, it was an people, angry people. Scream or a terrified one, but I remember just sitting there for a few moments and listening to it, more curious than alarmed. Put you some headphones in. Minutes, it ain't your problem. The window and turn to my video game. It ain't your problem. I don't know why I didn't call for help or run over and knock on Mr. Fisher's door to see if things were okay. My only explanation was that don't I was do a that. teenager, and I didn't Unless want to be packing and you for sure. My business. Later that night, after my parents but came, still, I wouldn't go over there. I was lying in bed when I once again heard the muffled screaming coming from behind the house. Mm -mm. This time I could tell it was labored and ragged. Oh, uh, he gonna go over here. Being he gonna go over. Wishing that whoever it was would just shut up already. Ah, uh, he gonna go over. I feel like I it. didn't even mention it to my parents the next morning. So about a week goes by. Mm -hmm. and I've completely forgotten about the screaming I heard that night. Boy, what you got on your feet? I was outside throwing the football right. at my father. Here we go. And the mailman stopped his truck and asked us if we had seen Mr. Fisher. The mailman? Apparently he had not been collecting his mail. But it's too late for some my mail. It's like dark. I hadn't seen his car for a few days. What's wrong with my dude, though? silent. The mailman and my father walked down the driveway and knocked on Mr. Fisher's door. <sighs> the next thing I remember were the sirens. Up here, there we go. I'm about, a lot of people trying to be brave. And several police cars arrived. I spent most of that afternoon up in a tree, watching Mr. Fisher's house as law enforcement and paramedics went in and out. That's, right, that's their job. That's their job. Fisher's I'm going to do unlocked. with that. He had been lying in a crumpled heap at the bottom of his basement stairs. It appears that he had fallen and broken both of his legs. She. But it wasn't the fall that killed him. It was the rats. The rats. My father eventually told me that the coroner reported the man had been eaten alive while he was screaming for help, unable to climb back upstairs. He had defensive wounds all over his hands from swatting at them. Dang. And several dead rats were scattered around. But in the end, there had been too many of them to fight off. Mm, 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 mm. His Could you imagine dying by rats? Damage. There was almost nothing left of it when they found him. The coroners were convinced that he had been alive through the worst of it. Mm. I mm -mm -mm. felt as though I had been stabbed in the stomach, and a wave of traumatizing guilt washed over me. Man, you kind of knew. I mean, you could have called 911, but you couldn't. I still mm -mm. didn't tell my parents, 
but on the inside, I was mortified. That ain't your job. I felt like a criminal for ignoring those screams. And for weeks after that, I was convinced that the police were going to come uh, he back traumatized. for negligence or something. He traumatized, traumatized. After afterwards, it traumatized me. Mm, yeah. the guilt around What's the drug? Secret. Don't do drugs, people. Drugs Don't do drugs. Drinking alcohol to try to dull the pain. In retrospect, I'm extremely lucky I graduated high school without overdosing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Killing someone while being drunk behind the wheel. I was about 20 years old when myself and three of my friends went back to the house in late October. When you going back? The house had been repossessed by the bank. I was so now you just asking for something to happen. Doomed. Me and my friends sat on the front porch and shared a bottle of bourbon. My family almost considered this vacant house our second home since it was so close to our property. My father would even do some yard work every once in a while. Make sure nothing was growing on the house. So like I said, my mm. friends and I were drinking and smoking and being belligerent idiots. Just talking shit and lying about girls that we had slept with. I got up and went around the back of the house to take a piss. I had Someone to gonna crouch down snatch up on one of those low to the ground basement windows. I know y'all saw that. The basement floor. All I could really oh, I know y'all saw that. Cement floor. And loads of cobwebs crisscrossing the window. You investigate too I took much. Care of business. You investigate. I was about to walk back around front when I paused. Glancing back towards the window, I felt to... a sudden sensation that I was being examined. Oh, I said they about to chop it off. <laughs> there was something in the window that hadn't been there before. Uh uh. Very clearly, I could see the outline of an old bearded face and a single eye staring up at me. Kind That's of at an ghost. angle. As if someone was lifting themselves up to peer out the window. I stared back, my body going numb and my mind going blank. I'm going. I'm I suppose going. that this is the part in horror stories where the people would say, I felt a chill go down my spine or my blood ran cold. You ain't gonna have the chance to that make me feel I have a chill down I my spine. I'm numb. going. I looked back at the figure in the window. The unmistakable feeling of being caught in act washing over me. Like I had been vandalizing the place or something. I believe the eye contact lasted for about 10 seconds. 10 seconds maybe too long. More. And I eventually just turned around and walked away. There you go. When Shit. I got to the Walk front away. Porch, I told my friends I was heading back to my garage. For a few short hours, I was convinced that it had been either a squatter or maybe my imagination. Nah, no, that's a ghost that ghost. Night, I had the most horrific nightmare. I was trapped in a dark room with rats crawling all over me and gnawing at my face as I lay helpless. I woke up the next morning feeling sick. What bothered me the most was that whatever I had seen in the basement window, there had only been one eye visible. Mm -hmm. Just like when I remember my old neighbor. Your neighbor. It wasn't until I was about 30 years old that I had made peace with he the been going I had seen the man's through spirit. It. He had been staring back at me in distress and confusion, wondering why I hadn't helped him. Yeah, he gone I read several it. books on the paranormal, and I came to the conclusion that his spirit wasn't yet at peace. My parents eventually sold that house to me, and today I only use it as a summer home. He bought the house. I've never wandered back to the old man's property again. Several times he's made his presence known. A few years ago, I was jump-starting my car outside in the driveway, when suddenly four rats shot out from under the axle, between my legs, and scurried away towards Mr. Fisher's old home. Hmm? Last the year, rats there was a back. knock on my window as I sat in my living room. Hmm. And only a few months ago, I was awoken from a deep sleep because I thought I could hear screaming from outside. My biggest fear now that I'm an adult is being alone and in pain hmm. and having no one to come and aid me as I scream for help. I guess this is my Gotta way of finally getting wifey. it off my chest. Some husband, when I go whatever, back there this summer, whatever your preference is, no matter to me. Fisher's house. I will try my best to find you somebody. And I can't. He's he been traumatized by this thing. He's been traumatized for a while. Alright, you guys. What well, I was the house next door by Martin Entertainment. It was a cute little cartoon. It was a little scary. It had a little scary ambiance. Um, it was it was a little it was a little depressing. But um, especially you know the dude fell down the stairs and the rats ate him. Then this dude grew up traumatized. But um, it was a good animation all in all. But um, if you like the video. Please give me a like if you um please subscribe down below and um let me guys know what you guys want to watch 
But um, until next time, that's it for you, boy. I'm out of here.